Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel and today we're returning with another reaction video But it's not on any ordinary boring video. It's actually the Deadpool 2 Teaser trailer and I had no idea this was even out But I was on the trending tab looking around, you know for some random toxic cancer and there it is There it is the no good deed video on Ryan Reynolds channel currently number one on trending with 14 million views and of course, you know you got Deadpool with this little double katana sword thing on the back. I'm sorry, I don't follow the lore that much. All I know is the first movie was badass, and if this is Deadpool 2, you better believe I'm about to be excited. I am about to shit my pants because I loved the first movie. You got superheroes cussing their lungs out, killing with lots of blood. That is a dream. That is a dream right there. I know I sound stupid. I'm sort of childish, you know, in more ways than one. Regardless, I know you guys are here for the reaction. Do not worry. I won't talk too much. We're going to be checking this out in three, two, one. Deadpool. And here we go. Deadpool number two, no good deed, possible teaser to the movie. Or it's an actual cut from the movie. I don't know. I guess that could be a teaser, right? Or it doesn't even have to be Deadpool 2. It could just be Deadpool and then something below that. Maybe it is no good deed. Maybe that's the name of the film. I don't know. And here we have Deadpool, most likely. Question is, does he still have the hideously scarred up face from the burns? Or does he have like plastic surgery now and his face looks normal again? I feel like there'd be a lot of makeup to have to do for an entire movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still got a penis head. What are you going to do? Me? Not on my watch, motherfucker. That's what I like to hear. Not on my watch, mf -er. Love Marvel-ish, you know, superhero movies with cussing in it. That's kind of new. What is he doing in a phone booth? Oh, wait. Is he going to change to save that guy? He's gonna change. He has to change into his, you know, Deadpool costume. Hold up. Nathan Summers. C coming soon. Coming with the U. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> he actually has to change. Nice ass, dude. Glad to see uh, your ass right up against the window there. This dude's in the background about to be shanked through the throat or shot. He has to change into his outfit. That's Deadpool. Always worried about appearance first. How long is this scene going for again? Yo, listen, Deadpool, I hate to say it, but there's a dude over there. He's probably gonna get shot or something. You know, you should probably save him. You actually speak with Laird. No? Okay. No, just tell him. It's gonna make a phone call, call in all of this? Help! I told you, Deadpool! You should've hurry, dude! It's too late now. Nothing you can do. Spent too much time. Oh, damn. Nice suit. Stan Lee! Stan Lee! Hold up. Is that the i I'm sorry, is that the first time they've ever acknowledged Stan Lee in a movie? Like he's always just a standby character, but this guy's he actually said zip it, Stan Lee. Is that the first? Okay, if this isn't in the movie, I'm going to be disappointed because I want to see a hero movie where they acknowledge Stanley. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should shut up. Wow, nice suit. Zip it, Stanley. Oh, I hope that's in the movie. He's going to get over and this guy's already dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not good. No. No, no, no. No. Nah. Oh, you're not gonna walk. He's down dead, isn't he? Oh, that's so gross. Oh. <sighs> spent too long in the phone booth. So yeah, sorry. okay, he's dead. He's dead. No, I, I, I spent way too long in the phone booth. If I'm being honest with myself, I probably should have just called 911. Would have been better. Well, or you could have been Deadpool without the costume. Because uh, I think we're both uh, missing the real point here. <sighs> <sighs> is he sleeping on this dead dude's body? A phone booth. Doing on a street corner. He was disappearing in '98. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I could have just used my cell. Don't you think? Ooh. That's a good question. What is a phone booth doing there? And Cherry Garcia ice cream. You gonna eat this? Don't answer. You're not gonna eat a dead dude's ice cream now. Come on. Well, that is Deadpool for you. I mean, actually, dude! I, to call to the costumer. I am I so hyped! Deadpool. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. Coming soon. They should have put coming with the U. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. You gotta change into. Not soon enough. Yeah, here's the thing though. Uh, with Deadpool, um, I feel like it's gonna be 2018 before this comes out. It's gonna kill me. Having to wait all that time. You're still mumbling. You're you're leaning on a dead dude. Wait, what is this? The old man and the sea. Wait, what? The old man is the sea. The old man and the sea is a story of a fight between an elderly, accomplished fisherman, Santiago. I, I probably said that wrong. And a really big fish, like huge. The story opens with Santiago. I know I said that wrong again. What does this have to do with anything? Suffering 84 days without catching a fish because he's the unluckiest son of a bitch on planet Earth. Wait, what? Is this really a block of text for trolling or does this apply to a story? Or is this like a narrative that describes what's happening in the movie? Like maybe Deadpool's struggling to catch a bad guy and he can't do it anymore. And then, oh, oh, that might make sense. Hold on, maybe that makes sense. Maybe he's a badass and then he suddenly falls with his, you know, a burned face into a state where he can't save anyone or he can't do what's right. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just fishing for something. But how does this make any sense? Eventually, Santiago makes it ashore, leaving the bones of the marlin and the boat. He hobbles to his shack. He makes it home and crashes. Like I said, he's super tired. The next morning, a group of fishermen gather around Santiago's boat. One measures the skeleton and holy shit shingles. Holy shit shingles. I got to use that. It's over 18 feet. The head of the fish is given to Pedrico? Pedrico? Pedrico. I, I'm sorry, I'm bad with names that aren't English. If it's not Bob and Pete, I suck at it. All right, whatever. Wakes up and they decided to fish together again. Many years later, there's a Red Lobster restaurant in nearly every city in America offering a casual dining space. What does that have to do with anything at all? I am so confused. Oh, God. Logan? Oh, I, that's a spoiler. Logan Deadpool 2 preview scene explained. Okay, I already know there's like a thousand, thousand, guys, thousand right. Easter eggs in this I have to look up. All right, I don't want to look at the uh, Easter eggs and the spoilers and videos out there. I want to look at it myself. And then if I can find them afterwards, I'll go in the comments and look around. But yeah, Deadpool 2. Dear God, 14 million views in one day. Holy crap. A lot of people are probably going to want to see this when it comes out summer of 2018 or fall of 2019 whenever that happens to be but hopefully enjoy the video um yeah deadpool 2 pretty sick i honestly love the idea of this i want to see it when it comes out uh, the first one was absolutely amazing if you haven't seen it already you should probably uh, first find out if it meets your taste because there's a lot of cussing in it and a lot of other stuff but hopefully enjoy the video and peace out